it shine all around the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine. Well, here we are in lesson number five, the last lesson in our VVVVS. Some of you have been here in, uh, for, with us for all five lessons. If you've been here for all lessons, raise your hand high. That's great. Now, we've been talking about in every lesson the importance of focusing on Jesus, the importance of listening to God's Word, and putting that into practice in our lives. See, the Bible is so very important. To our lives we can read all through the Bible and it tells us how to live before God and the Bible says that it's a lamp it's a light for us and we're to follow that light I have a card here that has oh I, I guess uh, a family or people on this card it could just be people but this represents us in the world and in the world, we are to stand on God's Word. But to stand on God's Word, we have to be in God's Word. God wants us in His Word daily. And so we are to be in God's Word and put it in practice in our lives. And we really need this, you know, because we live in the world and there are various weights and pressures that come. These are just a few rocks I found out in the driveway. There are going to be those who will try to get you not to listen to God's Word. That becomes a weight. There will be those who will discourage you. That's another weight. There are those around you who are going to say, don't listen to God's Word. Don't pray. Don't uh, go to Bible class and listen. And that's another weight. And that's just weighting us down in the world. See, this glass has become heavier because of these weights. Yet, the Bible says we stay in God's Word, and when we're in God's Word, then we are to stand upon that Word, and we can stand against these weights, these weights of the world that come against us. We stand on God's Word, but when these weights come, see, we are able to stand. not easy but we can stand on God's Word but you know this if you don't listen to God's Word if you don't stay in God's Word then you're not able to stand on God's Word and what will happen you'll be crushed just like that the weight of the world will crush you and so focus on Jesus focus on God's Word and we have a wonderful lesson today about Zacchaeus First, we're going to have a prayer, and then we'll have singing with special friends. So stay with us. Good to have you here again with us today for the last in our five sessions of VVVBS. Today we're going to be studying Zacchaeus. And anyway, before we get started in that lesson today, which we've got a good lesson prepared, let's go to our God and Father in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this series of lessons that we've had to help us know about what Jesus has done for us and why he came and died on the cross for us. We thank you, O Lord, for all the miracles that he performed, this proof that he is Jesus, the Son of God. And we thank you what, again for what he has done for us and that's showing his love for us. We pray that as the lessons are presented here today, that we learn them and that we apply them to our lives and that we understand in our lives that Jesus is our Savior and the Son of God. Bless this study that we're entering into today. Bless those that have participated, those that are watching, those that have prepared these lessons. Bless us all, O oh Lord, and forgive us of our sins, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. We're going to sing a couple songs real quick. We're going to do He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Y'all ready? He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the itty bitty babies in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies. In 
in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. All right, we'll do Jesus loves all the little children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves for all the children of the world. Jesus rose for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus rose for all the children of the world. All right, everybody, get your lot out. We're going to do this little lot of mine. This little lot of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little lot of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little lot of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine all around the neighborhood. I'm going to let it shine all around the neighborhood. I'm going to let it shine all around the neighborhood. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No. I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine. Don't let Satan get it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan get it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan get it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine. We'll do B-I-B-L-E and then we'll be done. The B-I-B-L-E, yes that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. This is the story of the tax collector Zacchaeus from Luke chapter 19. I'll be reading from the New King James Version. Luke chapter 19 verse 1 reads, Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was short of stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. 
But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Today we are going to learn about a man who wanted to hear and see Jesus so bad that he climbed up in a tree. This man's name is Zacchaeus and today we will learn about how Jesus changed his life. Jesus was traveling through Jericho on his way to Jerusalem for the last time teaching the crowds that followed him. There was a man named Zacchaeus who was following Jesus, trying to hear and see him. Apparently, he had heard a lot about Jesus and wanted to see this miracle worker and great teacher for himself. Even though Zacchaeus was rich, he knew there was something missing in his life. He wanted to hear what the great teacher Jesus had to say. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Tax collectors were Jews who collected taxes for the Roman government. They often collected more than they were supposed to, and they kept the extra money for themselves. Because of this, tax collectors were not liked by other Jews. Zacchaeus was a very rich man. There was a large crowd around Jesus, and Zacchaeus, a very short man, could not get close enough to see Jesus. He ran ahead and found a sycamore tree that he could climb and he sat in its branches until Jesus came near him. Not only did Zacchaeus want to see Jesus, but Jesus wanted to see him. When Jesus came to the sycamore tree, he looked up and called Zacchaeus by name. Though they had never met, Jesus told the short tax collector to come down in a hurry. He wanted to go to Zacchaeus' house. Zacchaeus hurried down the tree, excited and happy. But there were some in the crowd who were not happy because Jesus was willing to spend time with a sinner like Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus stopped to tell Jesus that he was giving away half of everything he owned to the poor. He also gave back anything that he had stolen from anyone. In fact, he gave back four times as much as he had taken. This was incredibly generous of Zacchaeus, much more than what was required. Jesus did not care that Zacchaeus was a tax collector or that he had made bad choices in his past. He came to teach everyone, to help people change, and to show everyone God's love for those that humbly wish to repent and obey him. He said he came to seek and save that which is lost. In Luke 19 10 what he expects from us when we do wrong things is repentance repentance is a change of heart which causes a change in actions if we repent which means to say we are sorry and show it by our actions then he will forgive us every day we can start over just as Zacchaeus did and try to do better and make better choices Jesus said that Zacchaeus would be saved because of his faith and his willingness to follow him. Jesus came to earth to bring salvation to everyone who would believe in him. He forgave Zacchaeus because of his faith and his repentance. As soon as he heard Jesus' teachings, Zacchaeus knew that he could not be a follower of Jesus if he continued to be dishonest and take money from other people. So he changed his life. Jesus wants us to be honest too, not just with our money, but in our words and actions. Now that we read Zacchaeus' story from the Bible, I'm going to retell this story. So Zacchaeus was a short little man. He was also a tax collector for the king. So what that means is that he would walk around to different houses and take money from people to give to the king. But Zacchaeus stole from these people he would take more than what he was supposed to take. So if he had to take one coin from the family to give to the king, he would take two and keep one for himself. Zacchaeus did this 
to everyone in the town, and they all knew about it. And so they didn't really like Zacchaeus, and they called him a sinner because he stole. Stealing is bad, and it is a sin. So Zacchaeus hears about Jesus coming into town, and he's like, hmm, who is this Jesus man? I want to meet him. Well, he can't see over the crowds of people because he's short. So he climbs up in a sycamore tree, kind of like how I am right now, and he's looking out to all the people, and he sees Jesus. And Jesus says to Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So by making haste, it means hurry up. So Jesus says to Zacchaeus, hurry up and come down here. I want to talk to you. Well, everyone is so confused. They're like, why in the world is Jesus, our Savior, talking to Zacchaeus, the sinner, who steals from people? Zacchaeus says to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by fa false accusation, I restore fourfold. What Zacchaeus is saying in this is, I will give half of everything that I own to the poor. And all of those that I've taken from, I'm going to give back, and I'm going to give back four times as much as I've taken. So he's going to give back even more than what he took from them in the first place. Here we can realize that something has happened to Zacchaeus to where he feels bad. This is what Jesus has made him feel. He's made him feel he's wrong for what he's done, and you can do right by that. And so Zacchaeus has changed his bad heart to what he had where he was stealing from people into a good heart because he has asked for forgiveness from Jesus. Jesus responds to Zacchaeus, Today salvation has come to this house because he, is, he also is a son of Abraham. For the son of man has come to seek and save that which is lost. So Jesus is saying by Zacchaeus, asking for forgiveness and repenting to Jesus, Jesus is accepting it and forgiving Zacchaeus. We can do this also as Christians. If we realize that we've sinned, we ask Jesus for forgiveness and Jesus accepts it and we can repent. Now that I've gone over the story of Zacchaeus, I'm going to ask you a few questions and you can answer them. Um, I'll pause and you can answer and then I'll say the correct answer if you want to check yourself. What did Jesus do for Zacchaeus? Jesus allowed forgiveness to Zacchaeus so that he could repent of his sins and he was forgiven. How did Zacchaeus change? After Zacchaeus asked for forgiveness, he did not steal from people anymore, and he was a better person. Why was Zacchaeus considered a sinner? Zacchaeus was considered a sinner because he stole from others. How did Zacchaeus get to see Jesus? He saw Jesus by climbing up in a sycamore tree and seeing over the crowds. What was Zacchaeus like at the beginning of this story? Zacchaeus was not liked at the beginning of this story. He was not liked because he stole from other people. Thank you for listening today. Hey everyone, um, welcome to week five of VVVBS. This is our last week um, for this summer. And um, this week we learned about Zacchaeus um, and Jesus coming to seek and save the lost. And um, that was in Luke 19, one through 10. So today for our craft, our last craft, we're gonna make um, the tree that Zacchaeus was in and then we're going to color him and cut him out and put him up in the tree so you can have a little craft of him being up in the tree. So what you're going to need for this craft um, is a, a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll. I just have an old toilet paper roll and then um, you're going to need green construction paper or you can just get regular paper and color it green if that's easier. 
um, the cutout of Zacchaeus that you can print out that we will attach. You'll need scissors and glue or tape and crayons. Um, so first of all, what you're going to do, you're going to have your um, toilet paper roll or your paper towel roll, which will be the trunk of the tree. Next, you're going to take your construction paper or your green paper and you're going to draw the leaves of the tree. So you're going to draw the big, um, it's kind of, it'll look kind of like a bush. It'll just be the leaves of the tree. So I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. And you want to make sure it's big enough so that the Zacchaeus cutout can fit on it. So this is kind of what mine's gonna look like and I'm gonna cut it out really quick. And you don't have to like draw it, you can just um, cut it however you want if you don't wanna draw it. So I hope y'all enjoyed the lesson this week from Claire and Miss Faith teaching you about Zacchaeus and Jesus coming from the tree, or Jesus coming to the tree, telling Zacchaeus to get out of the tree. So I'm just going to cut, cut it and cut the... Um, the leaves out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, this is how mine looks. So now you're going to take your trunk and it's going to fit kind of in the trunk like that. So what you're going to need to do is cut slits like that into your paper. And it's just going to fit right down on the trunk. So this is how I did mine. Now, the cutout of Zacchaeus that you're going to print is going to look like this. But you're going to color it and cut it out. And I already have mine right here. Now, let's hope that he fits on the tree. He's a little big, but that's fine. You can make it however you want. And in the story, it said he was a wee little man, but he's a little big on this. Or in the song, it said that. Okay. So I'm just using tape. You can use glue if you have glue, but tape is easier for me. Okay, and you're going to put him up in the tree. So this is how I put mine. He's just up sitting in the tree. So you can also like decorate this. You can color this again with brown or whatever you want. Um, you can decorate the tree. You can put um, different leaves or whatever in it. You can really make it however you want. Um, but this is our little Zacchaeus craft. It's a very easy craft for our last week. Um, and I hope y'all enjoyed all of the lessons with BVBBS. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, thanks for being with us. And we're going to have a closing prayer. But uh, thank you for watching our videos. And uh, we're from the Union Grove Church of Christ, and we're in Newmarket, Alabama, and we would uh, we'd be delighted to have you, have you with us if you can ever visit. So uh, thanks again, and we're going to close with a closing prayer. Dear Father, we bow before you with humility. We thank you for another wonderful day that you've given us. And we thank you, Father, for the blessings that you give us every day. We thank you for this Vacation Bible School. We thank you for all the people that worked in this. 
We thank you for all the people that watch the videos, but above all, Father, we pray that we give you the glory and that we focus on Jesus. And we thank you that you loved us so much that you gave Jesus to be our savior. And help us, Father, to listen to your word, listen to the Bible, and keep our eyes on Jesus. We are thankful that Jesus died for our sins, and we ask you to forgive us of our sins at this time. We pray, Father, that you will keep us all safe, and at the end of this life, we are longing to be with you forever. And these things we pray in the name of Jesus, amen. Let it shine.